What up, guys? Welcome back. This is Gambler. We are on, I believe this might be uh, part four or part five. A little bit of, obviously, update. Um, on the last one, you guys saw I was trying to find a charge Certus Quartz. Uh, <laughs> I have played for like three hours trying to find a charge Certus Quartz. I've been freaking everywhere trying to find this and I could not find one. I could not find one. So I had to put my my brain to work on this one. So we're actually going to be doing something something different. I was I was testing out the cables. I was testing out the things that I put in here. So for example, we have RF tools in here. Um, this is this is the main one that we're going to be using. RF tools is a mod that helps you navigate multiple mods for power. It helps you convert p different kinds of power because there's AE, there's thermal or, or tech reborn uh, power. There's there's like five different types of power within these all these mod packs, and they all have issues trying to integrate with each other. So I know that's a lot to, if you guys are just, you know, brand new to modded Minecraft, but what we're going to end up doing is we're going to chart a little course. The first thing I want us to get into is like I said, RF tools. And what we want to find is a controller. We're going to make the controller first. Basically what this is, you, we're going to, we're going to unpack this. And I, I only tinkered around with this just enough so I could get a charged Certus quartz but we have a lot of things that we actually need to make uh, right now. So we're gonna start unpacking this. So this is gonna be uh, a little bit of RF tools for you guys. So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna find a controller. So we need to make all this stuff. We need to start frying up some uh, gold. So we'll do that. We're gonna find a bunch of raw gold that we have and start frying that up. Like I showed you, so you, <laughs> I was I went I went nuts. I was trying, like I said, so I I looked it up to so Certus or spawn rate. It's all over the place, but it's only an eight percent chance that the ore itself will be a charged Certus quartz um, ore, and then you actually have to get the charged Certus quartz to drop. Most of the time, you're just going to get dust, but every once in a while, you get. Uh, a crystal from it and then you need a charged Certus quartz crystal to drop and I'm just I'm over it. I've I've been like I said I've been searching for like four hours and I couldn't find any so we're gonna make our own with converting so this is a AE2 converter and this is obviously AE2 charge pad so we can actually break this and uh, we're gonna kind of rebuild Hopefully we get this. Yeah, we're going to rebuild this a little bit and we're actually going to put this right here for now. That's going to be our converter. And then we're going to put our charger on top of it. And for now, we're going to actually just be able to throw in. So we have all this, this, uh, Certus Quartz crystals. Okay. We'll just take a couple. We'll take one. We, won't, we only need one for now. And we're just going to throw it in here. And, and this, when it when it doesn't have power it just sits here and so the 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 goal is to be able to charge this damn thing so we couldn't find one i couldn't find one i didn't want to i i don't i don't think i i, I don't even want to look up a way to cheat that's not my intent with this we're just going to think tank this and um like i showed you we're going to make so we're going to get into this controller so this controller is iron gold redstone so machine a machine frame is gold nuggets, iron, and blue dye. I believe if I, so you can, so look at this. So you can just use lapis to make blue dye. Okay. So we have our blue dye. We have a redstone and then we take a gold couple of, so we now have our gold. We take our gold and make ingots out of it. So now we can go up here. We can go to our controller and we can make the first part, which is our, machine frame oh we don't have iron on us so let's go in here i made a bunch i ended up making a bunch of uh, at least started getting some of our ores uh broken down where maybe it is this one I, maybe it is this one 
this is the one I started just um, smelting some of the the ores that I've been collecting over the last five six hours of this playthrough and now we can go in here and we can make our first step so we're making a machine frame here and now we got the first step so machine frame done machine frame done redstone redstone repeater so we need some stone redstone torches and redstone dust and then we need a a camp comparator cool so we need stone nether quartz so we have we have some nether quartz we went into the nether for a little bit okay we got quartz we needed stone and we need redstone and then redstone torches so let's go in here i thought i made a other oh, sticks okay good so going here like this i know we i know we need a bunch of these so let's make like 10 of these or 12 so we got 12 of those we got a bunch more redstone so let's see what we need so we need two of these repeaters. And then we'll make it see if we can make another one. Yep. So there's two repeaters. And then we need this guy. Operator. We'll add that. Okay, we got one of those. Nice. So we got all the pieces now, I believe, for our controller. So we'll get the controller made. Awesome. This is this is huge. So um, we're gonna we're, like I said, we're we're passively forced into going to RF tools so we can actually power some of our stuff. And this is the first step. So we'll we'll actually just plunk down. Um, I'm gonna put a couple of blocks as placeholders. So I'll do like this. So I'm gonna go like this. This. And then put the controller here for now. This is going to look like shit until we can actually um, cover it up. But we're going to put... So we're going to have the um, generator here. Or generator. No, maybe we have generator there. So we're going to go like this. We're actually going to go like this. So I'll have my controller here. Okay. We're going to break this, break this, break this. Okay. And then the next step is we need our cabling. So cabling, we got to look up. Uh, let's, let's look up cable and see if that's it. So we'll go through here. And actually, I'm going to go like this. We're going to go at XNet. We need this. So we don't need the advanced, but we need the blue connectors. So one connector is we need a gold, a chest, and die. We've got we've got redstone. We can go over here and grab a bunch of lapis, and then we can convert our lapis to our die. So maybe let's go like let's make twenty of these. We're gonna make twenty dies. And then we we obviously got our gold cooking up. And then we need to make a bunch of chests. So we'll do that. I don't really care about oak. We'll go back here and we're going to make a bunch of chests. We got seven of those. So let's go like this. So we know we'll go like this and we'll add. Okay, and then we'll just add everything that we have. So, like that, we'll take a bunch of redstone here and fill that, fill that. Now we can make uh, five of these. Okay, so now we have five cabling. And then we're going to go like this. So, you take your cables and you run it. And you can see, now we have our controller and our power converter um, connected on the same network. XNet creates a network that you operate out of. So look at this right now. So now that we have the controller set up, what this is going to allow us to do is start creating processes within the network. So we go to create. And what this does is it this says insert or extract mode. 
meaning we can we can tell it if we want it to insert power or extract power. And the the weird thing about XNet is you can't you this this need the, the controller needs a jump start, meaning it won't start sending signals through this cabling to other units to anything until you jump start this. And how you jump start it is you have to literally put power right next to it and force the power into this block. And then once the system is jump started, like if you have like if this block and this block were both uh, generators, they won't force power into the network until the con this controller is basically the mind and is working. So we're going to, so the next step for this is we're going to make it from, from the same mod pack. So from RF tools, we're going to look up a coal, a coal generator. So RF tools power is a coal generator. And so we need coal. We need another machine frame. So let's make, we're just going to make a bunch of these. So let's make like 12 more of these. We can put some of our junk away. I always like having chests where I can just dump a bunch of stuff into. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we're not doing any farming. So, like all this, we need to free up some space. So once again, we have our. It saves when you have this the the, the filter, and you have typed something in coal generator. So now we can go here, and find our machine frame again, and it will automatically add it to it. So now we have the machine frame and now we just need coal and a redstone torch. So if we take that, we have torches already. We should be able to make this. So if we add that, so now we've got our coal generator and we're actually, I'm, I'm curious if I can put this on the side of it and it will push power in through the side into this. So well, basically our objective is, is we're going to throw some power in here and see if it forces it into this. See what it did. So look at this. So now it's forced power into the controller and now we're off and running. So we can set this one up. So every single block that's within this network, I can rub this, run this cabling all over the place. I could go down one more level and run cabling underneath the floor over here and have like our generators right here and be able to really start getting this off and running. But my, like I said, my real goal was to just try to get a charged Certus Quartz. So let's try this. So I'm going to show you guys this. Now that we have power, we have a little bit of power and the issue with having this, it's always going to, having this running, having this network running costs power. So we're always going to have like just a little bit of coal in here, get this up to a hundred thousand and then get some storage in here. This goes up to 500,000. So we'll have enough, enough power for a while, but we're going to go back to this. So let's go like this. So right now you can see this is off. Nothing's going on, but when you turn it on, so we go to here and go to create and we go to extract. This should work. Okay. So we'll see. It, I, I was able to get it to work um, on creative. So hopefully insert. Actually, no, let's go to in. Let's go to insert. So it's pushing power into it. And hopefully this actually charges. We'll see. We've got that. This is starting to save up. It worked. It worked on the other one. So fingers crossed this actually works. <laughs> I didn't, didn't mess this up and I have to redo this. Insert. Create. Uh, extract. Hey, there it is. Hey, look at that. See? It worked. So look at the, it. It got charged. See that? So we're going to do another one. So we'll take this and now look at that. Hey, we got exactly what we needed. We've been trying to work towards getting a charged Certus Quartz. And now we can start getting to AE2. So this is very important. We're going to, I'm actually going to make a, a few of these. We've got our charged Certus. We'll grab a bunch of these and see if we can't. 
do that. So it instantly, like I said, in front of you, it, it changes. See, not cool. So like you can have a process here and, and something on this side that inserts, um, these, Certus, uh, Certus Quartz crystals on one side, and then you can have something that pulls them out on the other side. And we will really, really be able to set this up and get down and dirty with this. But I'm just gonna make a couple of these. So let, let's get like, let, let's get, I'm gonna get like, let's get 10. We're gonna get 10 charged Certus Quartz. We can actually look at how much power it's actually using to do this. So it's slowly, we're at 30,000 or 31,000 stored. We'll, we'll do one of these and see how much it used. So you see that I jumped down to 27. So it used about 44,000 power, 4,500 power of this type to do that. So 4,000. So each time one of these, it costs 4,000 power. So there you go. So now we have 10 of them. And I'm going to throw just a couple more coal in here and get this up just a little bit higher. I mean, let's throw all that in there. That's fine. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, but now we can actually get into, uh, that's a very, this is a basic, 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 basic uh, setup. You can see, you can run power underneath, up the walls, upstairs. As long as these chunks are loaded, like we've got, you can run power all over the place and, and add so much to these, Xnet, Xnet. I mean, every single any the, the more complicated that we make our build, the more things that we get automated, the laggier that our chunks gonna be and all that shit. But we're gonna we're just, we're just getting the like right now we're working on the basics. And the reason I'm trying to get into AE two is so we can actually get a little tiny um storage area for all of our stuff. I don't want. I don't want all these chests all over the place. I want AE2 up and running. So that's what we're going to work on right now. Is right now, um, now that we have our charged uh, Certus Quartz, now we can start getting into, uh, let's see. So, oh yeah. So, I mean, this is, this is going to be a, a big process. So not only... We've got our, uh, let's see. So formation cores inscriber is that makes dust, blah, blah, blah. So now we have the ability to just make these. Now we don't have to worry about growing them. So let's look up flux. I know we're going to need, um, these uh, flux crystals. So you have to grow these. So you take flux dust. Uh, let's see. So, oh, that's what we needed them. So for flux dust, you need a nether, we have nether quartz, we have charged certus quartz now, and we have redstone dust. So now what, what this does is there's charge, not only do you have this charger, but there's there's these charging blocks that help accelerate the growth of seeds. So maybe I'm curious if that's what this is. This is an energy cell, so we can start um, storing our energy. But there was I thought there was a block that uh, helps speed up when you start making seeds, but maybe not. Uh, what? Let's. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna go. Uh, a two. And we can look through these blocks. So that's the controller. What is this for? Uh, that's not it. We need to. Uh, there's a block that helps you charge and grow seeds, but maybe not. Let's just go like this. So we're going to grab our bucket 
go down here. Oh no, and I wanted to show you guys around a little bit. So I've just expanded this just a touch for now. We've got our sugar cane rolling. So every single time that this grows just a little bit, just cut it all down and then store it. Like I said, I don't know how many things we're gonna run into that need sugar cane or 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 paper, but it's always good to have something, you know, automated just a little bit, just so you have these materials at your expense. But yeah, I was running out of food, so I was just like, screw it. Uh, let's just make a little area for uh, for farms. So I've got this kind of off and running just for a second instead of going out and slaughtering a bunch of uh, animals. So I did that, got that up and running. Eventually start getting, just making bread, just fine. And then the constant struggle of all these vines falling on us at all times. Uh, so we needed a bucket. So I'm gonna break this. Uh, yeah, I'll go like this. So watch this. Break this. We will gather a bucket of water and put it back. I usually do that two more times. I've I always have like an infinite pool somewhere. So maybe we'll put it like right here. Uh, where do we want to put this so we don't you know fall on it? We put it right here. But for now, let's go like this. And we'll go grab one more. We'll go grab one more. Oh, I did mess this up. Wow. Huh. Okay, let's go like this. We gotta fix this real quick. Now it's fixed. Right. Ah, he's such a... I can't. I can't. I can't win right now. Okay. Now we're good. Got that. Make our infinite pool up here. And... For those of you that have never done AE2... It showed us a recipe. So it showed us that let's, so we have, where's our, we have nine charged. Let's grab our 10th. We'll actually do, I'm gonna make it just a few more. Oh, not that, this, let's make a few more of these. Make one more. We'll have third. We'll have twelve a stack. Twelve for. Let's see what I do with this. There's ten, thirteen. Okay, so we have twelve there. We wanted to make our flux. So let's look that up again. FL. These flux crystals. The only way to make them is with seeds. And then sand. So we need flux dust, which you make it from redstone, charge, and nether. So we need 12 nether quartz. Go like this and this. So now we have that. And then just put some of this uh, stuff that we don't need just the second away. Cool. So this is what you got to do with this. Uh, this. Seeds. Yep. So you throw these. That's what it does. So the charge surface quartz is what creates it. So we'll see if this works. Be able to watch this. Take a body of water. 12, 12, and 12. We can watch this and see if it actually works. There it is. Cool. Look at that. So unnatural. And that gave us two per. So now we have 24 flux. And then, in order to make our 
the crystal. So, so we need sand and dust. I don't know if we actually have any sand. That's the one thing that we actually needed to do a little adventure a mode is uh, going to find some sand. So maybe we can go do that real quick. And we can start seeing... Gosh, I thought... Dude, I know I'm, I'm not stalling. AE2. There was something else that you made that you powered. And it helped speed up. Uh, not a vib... Is it a vibration chamber? Doesn't say... Oh, there it is right here. Hey, we found it. Crystal growth accelerator. So this is a problem. We have the quartz crystals. We need a flux block. So this is why we need. Okay, that's why we need. Let's storm me out. We're gonna. We're, I'm not. I'm not dealing with uh, a bunch of monsters right now. We can just. We can just sleep real quick. We're gonna sleep, and that's why we need the flux crystals. We need to get those growth accelerators. So if you guys have never played, it takes an extremely long time for those seeds to grow if you don't have the growth accelerator things and you have to power those. And in order to power them, like, I, like you know, we're going to start getting into and unballing all this stuff is you need these glass, the, these different type of cable for M or AE2. So we're going to, we're going to get into first we need these crystals and then we need these cables. So we're in this bind right now of, the only way is we need these flux crystals. So it looks like we're going to need a bunch of them uh, without it. So it, it takes a long time to make these. So that's why we have made, we're going to make so many of them. So we just need sand. So let's go get some sand. We need at least 24 and that'll make us 48. Uh, seeds which will make 48 crystals all at once so that'll be a a, a decent start uh, to this but obviously we're going to make want to make a ton more but that'll get us off and running with ae2 so this is good um that hang up was that that getting that charged quartz but we we're able to figure out uh our at least our needs we're kind of getting this off and running so this, like this, this, uh, we're just dabbling right now. Uh, this is going to be huge. As soon as I'm able to automate some of this stuff, you guys can, you'll start seeing, uh, the further along we get with this, how, how really extreme that this stuff can get if you want it to be. Twenty-five. I'm destroying this and we'll just fix the water real quick. I need a bunch of sand. Like, sorry, we don't have a um, desert close to us and I need a bunch of sand. Oops, sorry. Okay. Go like this and fix it. else we got we got some blocks here do this i don't like leaving stuff looking like crap plus we have really good tools now so it doesn't take very long oh my nom 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 you know huh <laughs> move this just a touch there we go the whole thing but I just really don't like running water we'll see what we can do here I 
don't understand why there's lag, but you know. There it is. Got it fixed. Let's put a cup. I'll come back and cover it up later. Or later. I just didn't want the uh, water flowing. That's better. Cool. Got you know for that just that little area. That was a lot of uh, sand. And we'll go back and uh, show you guys the next step in this. We'll start getting the uh, giant. <laughs> Uh, flux crystals. We'll start working on our glass cabling. And then we will uh, make our growth. We need those growth chambers anyways. So we're going to need probably, I mean, we need, need at least, we got to look at this recipe. Uh, so let's look at the growth chamber on this is two and it's a block. So we need four. And that's four for, or two for four. We need a decent amount. What? So if we want, if we really want four of these, that's, so five per we need 20 we need 20 crystals at least which we'll get so we can start working on that right now so we don't even need the crafting table take the flux flux dust we take this and we make our seeds so now we've got 48 seeds and we literally just throw them down i believe in the water and they start growing so we can check it, check it or keep an eye on this for a while. These take forever. So we're going to go and uh, maybe we'll just start processing uh, some things for two seconds. So we have any stacks. Uh, kind of, I guess. Maybe silver and copper. So I know, I know, I know. There's, there's better ways to process uh, materials, especially the raw ores and you get one bar there's other ways to go about this and uh do this so look at this look at this we'll pick these up and see what look at them so 3.43 percent says this item won't despawn so we will see we're going to keep on keeping an eye on this so these have to grow uh, so we got that we can put away some of our building materials and then we can chart a course for this. So we still need our quartz glass, which is glass. I believe we made some glass. Just don't know where I ended up putting it. So there's, okay, so here's here's some glass. And our char, our, our dust. So it might be like this. Oh, didn't mean to, oh, okay. Uh, I'm that's where I messed up. Okay. We'll go like this. That makes our makes our uh, quartz glass, and then now we have that. We have enough for that. We need our. Oh, well, we need more glass. So let's we're gonna fry uh, fry up some sand. We make thirty two glass. That's fine. So now we got stuff kind of rolling. Those are going. I just really don't want those uh, deals to despawn. It says they won't despawn, but I can't really trust it. We'll keep an eye on this. So let's look at this. So that's running, obviously. This is running, obviously. We have 100,000 there. Oh, look at that. So we're good for a while. Okay. See how much uh, energy we have stored. And uh, I guess we'll wait. We'll just make a couple more of these. And then... Like we can automate all this stuff. We're just getting our feet under us right now with getting the starting steps of this underway. 
uh, as soon as um, like we're going to need to get this power uh, maybe up behind the wall above us and then maybe have it drop down and we can we can or maybe have it though we're going to have maybe we'll have it right here for now we'll have it here this is kind of we'll kind of maybe we'll we'll um, build a room for this and kind of hide this is just our new our little tiny ME system until we can really start think tanking this and build it like above us or below us but uh, probably a below us to be honest we'll get our we'll, we'll we can maybe expand this eventually to a huge power room and then below us we will have I wonder we gotta look this up we have elevators in this there's there's some pop mod no some mod packs have the elevators in them, makes it really, really easy to uh, move floors. So uh, maybe we can look into that if there's anything in this mod pack that does that. Uh, let's see. So we got shit fry frying up glass, copper, silver. We'll take a gander at this, see how far along these are. So 20%, we'll throw them back in. So do this. We were working on uh lots of growth. Cool. We're getting this all we'll have this ready by the time we get our quartz glass. So we're good there. And in, oh this this. We need these quartz fibers. That's three. Three per. And we probably want 12, at least. Two per, and we're going to make four of those, so that's eight. Ah, uh, we probably need 16. 16 of these, at least. So we need four setups. So we need at least four of these, and we'll use uh, eight of those. So we need at least two sets of these. So we can make more than that, but we'll go like this. So I believe, and I actually think we have some already made. I did this already. Not really thinking ahead much. There they are. Okay, so we've got six. We'll make one more set. So now we have... I know where I put them. There they are. Okay, cool. So we have nine. So now we're just waiting on the crystals. So we are, and then we need blocks. So we're pretty close. We've got most of our materials for it. We're just waiting. So that's that. That's the growth chamber. We will get our cable. And then maybe we can look in the ME controller. So the next step after this and we get the growth chamber up and running is the first part we need an me controller which means so we've got a that, that's the next adventure the next adventure that we're going to want to work on is we need to find a meteor how do we find a meteor uh let's see what is this a compass so meteorite compass Oh, charged surface quartz and an iron. So we have both. So let's grab this. We can go out on an adventure. We can we can we're just gonna make a chest. That's a gear. That's a different mod pack. And we'll go like this. So this will show us the closest meteorite to us. See that? So that's showing us where the closest meteorite is. Okay. So we might have to find four or five or six of these and then bring our good pick with us and get a bunch of that meteorite stone to sky stone. So that's kind of the next step. You will. So these are kind of starting to grow a little bit faster. We'll put all our stuff away. So for now, maybe I just go like this more the important stuff 
in here. This, this. The I usually keep building materials all in one chest until we get our ME system up. System up. ME system is storage. ME system is a giant multi, 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 multi block for automation, storing your items so they're not sitting in chests anymore. And then you can automate every other, it can interact with every other mod pack in the game. So an ME system is just so, so, so important to allow you to start really diving into other mod packs or other getting things automated. So... Uh, that's that. Maybe we just randomly put stuff in here now, I guess. So we have food. Like this. Like things like that. So make bread for food. Yeah, like this, this. I guess we go like this. Uh like that. And you're really near no. a meteorite food. Our gear, our guy, and that's the other thing. So I didn't go over this, but um, I ended up dying. So if you guys can see, I'm level 15. I had, I was in a dark, 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 dark area, lighting everything up, and something dropped down right directly, like one block in front of my face was a creeper, and I couldn't move. And he blew up and zerged me, even with diamond uh, helmet and diamond chest piece. So I got, I got killed like an hour and a half or so ago, which was hilarious. I wish I would have been recording, but I was trying to find that damn charged Certus Corch, which I ended up not being able to find. But we have uh, just, just Super Troll. So, all right. So we got this. We got some torches. Maybe we bring more because. Okay, we're good. Now we're good. An extra stack food. So well, let's just check these and see how far along they are. Almost 50%. I'm going to put them away. Okay. And then when we get back from our little adventure, we'll continue. Grow I'm not going to just leave them there. There's no way. I'm not going to trust this game to not uh, delete something off the ground. So we can look at this thing. It says that there's a meteor that way. Okay. I guess by the, by the time we move around a little bit and run, uh, not taking too many pop shots from skellies. Uh, maybe it'll be daytime. I just got to get a little bit higher and see like it's almost, eh, it's on its way over. So it's, it'll be, it'll be light out soon. So we're just going to start heading that way. And like I said, I made a little transferred some birch over here because that's like my easily, if I have to use wood and like stone birch is the, the vanilla uh, textures or uh, ways that I like to build. So I'll see if this works. We're going to be a little adventure time right now. So we'll see. And obviously this thing could probably be underground. So we might have to do some digging. And sometimes these meteors can be massive. Or uh, they can be uh, really small. See, look at all these skellies. This is like super, super risky doing this at night. Wow, really? Really? That was like three shots right there. Huh. Well, that's another thing. I just need to make sure uh, we don't go too far. We'll look up our 251, 119. I can see it already, I think. I see it. So we're not that far. Uh, 
Unless that was the, uh, like right over there. Oh, it's underneath us. When it's spinning like that, I'm pretty sure it's underneath us. Probably in the water right there. You see this? This is a... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So that's a meteor. That's what, we were lo what we're looking for. And there might be another one close by, too. There actually might be two. There might be one underneath us and that one in the water. So yeah. So this is what we're looking for. This is, this is what I'm talking about. We're going to have to... I didn't expect it to be in water. I mean, that kind of sucks. Uh, we'll see here. Not die. We're going to have to go up from, from water. I should have brought some blocks. We'll use some of these blocks. Uh, let's go to, I'm going to go to shore and the reason why I will show you, this is going to take forever. If we have to mess around with the water, we're going to, we're going to make this a little easier. Plus maybe we can get some sand right here. Grab some sand. This is why I like taking the time to get my tools first. Cause you can see this, look at how fast this is. Like it's so much faster. That should, that should be enough. Uh, dirt and watch. Watch what we got going down here. We'll go like this. We're gonna make a one by one. So you fill it in. Don't let the zombies get you. Don't gotta worry about them. Fill this in, and then we dig down. So you can see this. Now there's no more water. And we're able to uh, extract what we need. Uh, I wonder if this is water. Yeah, okay. It's kind of troll. Let's go like this. And then we just, we'll just boost ourselves up. I don't think that there's a huge, oh, come on. We need a bunch of this, so, oh my gosh, why? So we'll just go like this, that's fine. So we'll make a little path down. What is this? No way! Are you serious? Holy shit, there's flux blocks in here. Oh my... That's so troll. Okay. Well, there's flux blocks. Oh, there it is. Hey, look at that. That was the chest. Okay. So it was... So so like I was telling you guys, there's the... There's... I didn't, I didn't notice this. So there's a chest in here that was like... Not that. Get over here. Little shit. So it was like this, there's a chest in here and it has presses in it. And these are the presses that we need for our, for developing the mod pack. So this is a silicon press. We need, silicon's actually the best one to get. We can start getting, uh, processing silicon, but we also need the other, and we need the other three. We need logistics, we need calculations and we need engineering, uh, presses, but this is good. So like I said, there's, and this is awesome too, getting, I wonder if there's another chest in here. This thing is so big. I'm curious if there's another chest in here. We do need a bunch of this sky stone. What is it called? Yeah, sky stone. So that was cool. It actually had. Some. 
flux blocks. Look at this. So that's 24 flux crystals right there. That's so good. What? That's obviously a change that they made. You didn't... You would just bust into these meteors and there was nothing but trying to find the chest. This one's a big one, so I was just going to look. Make sure that there wasn't another uh, chest in here. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's, that's the holdup, is we have to go out and find... Like I said, four or five more of these meteors. Oh, there's the water. Okay. So, probably not. Uh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> or uh, keep digging into this thing. So, we have, we have a bunch of blocks now. Skystone blocks. So, we're going to go and boost ourselves back up. Grab some more on the way out, so I don't... Nope, water. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on, man. Messing with, with water is just... It's... it's Special... Oh my god, why? It's a special kind of crazy. Get out of here. We're right here. Right. Sweet. All right, so first one down. So I wonder if we keep going. There might actually, I guess it affected this whole area. So Let's see if the the compass will point somewhere else. Because there's that's pointing at that one. See if we can find a different one. Do a little, we'll do a little, um, wrap around our area. Take some free food. Hopefully we can find another. Huge cave, huh? The so one thing that I've I've started to pick up on and realize is Yeah, there's a snow area. Cool. Um Still pointing to the same one. We might just the thing is we might just have to make a boat. So boats out in the sea around on the wall. Oh, there we go. Hey, we picked up another one. Hey, good. Right when I started saying talking about a boat. But we'll see how close this one is. It actually seems like it's pretty far. But our house is like over there. Or our um, pad is over there. So. Doing a little adventure time. I can't believe that's so cool that it had the. Um, flux blocks inside of the meteor. It saves us some time. Not a lot. Like the 
we want to focus on those growth chambers so we can make our seeds faster. And then that'll allow us to uh, our grow our crystals faster. Plus, what's inter what's so cool about doing these meteorites, you can see what they do to the land. Like, they just blow, like, obviously they generate that they, you know, hit. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Like, when they're outside like that. So, let's go. Um, I'm going to make, like, a little bit of a little monument right here. So, we... we if it gets dark or something, we know which way is home. So the old four torch rule. So we know home is that way. Okay. Never, ever, ever hate, fucking hate getting lost in this game. I see that. Look what the meteor did to this. <laughs> Just like a huge chunk out of the land. So hopefully we get lucky with this. So we can get two. It's going to be super troll if we get the same press. Hopefully there's at the least we can see if there's two in this one. That'd be so that'd be so awesome if uh, somehow we can get uh, Look look at this. It's stupid. So this is like the middle. So let's go this way. We're looking for purple, huh? There it is. Nice. So there's a chest. Oh, engineer logistics. Oh, yeah. That's a twofer. Hey, nice. Look at that. Called it. <laughs> Uh, I'm too loud. My bad. That's so funny. We got two for. Look at that. So we got three out of the four presses now. Logistics or logic press, engineering press, and silicon. Now we only need calculation. So I'm going to grab these. Grab the chest. It's fine. Grab these. Look at six more of those. Turning dark. Hopefully we don't die. It'd be stupid, stupid. We're going to head, head back uh, towards. Uh, we're going to make like a triangle. See if we can find another meteor on the east side. Rises in the east, sets in the west, the sun. So we'll go on the east side of our area a little bit if we can find another one make this fast it didn't take that very much uh, it didn't take very long hopefully we can get lucky maybe have one on the way I guess I could be uh, killing Uh, I'm getting some food. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, right in front of us. What's up, buddy? There's us. Cool. Did give away his lighting. You see the lights over there. Maybe. <laughs> Might be over there. Oh, there we go. Okay, just a little bit further. That wasn't us. <laughs> that is. Okay, cool.
All right, fingers crossed that we get, that's pointing us over to the one we already got. So we're gonna head this way just a little bit. Eat some food, probably the last of our food. And we're gonna head this way. That's telling us to go over to that one. We already got those two. We're gonna like head to the complete opposite direction of both of the other ones. So hopefully it changes soon. It's gonna be a little spicy out here. I guess this will technically show the way back home, too. Yep. There's a house right there. Got it. So, adventure time. Let's go. <clears throat> Come on, game. You see this thing change. That's not good. <laughs> Come on. Hey, there it is. Hey, it changed. Nice. All right. All is not lost. And we know how to get home. We just head east or uh, west. Exactly west from here. We've been out here before. This is where the, uh, never forget the old, uh, uh, cow and donkey massacre <laughs> happened. That's where the, uh, the dye biome is. All these flowers create dyes. Up, dude. Of course, fall right into it. Not mean to do that. Whatever. Let's go. Wonder if it's down here. That'd be funny. Or get a creeper that falls right on top of us and kills us. That'd be good. Right? Anybody? A little parkour for the kids, huh? Let's see how to get out of here. This is not good. Creeper lands on top of us, we're dead. And then the run back, super, super troll. Little, little land bridge right here. Nope, oh, we're on the wrong side. I just go around, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. All right, that was kind of troll. <laughs> you fell right in the hole. Well, you know, the forbidden fruit must be.
guess we'll see here in two seconds if it's uh, below the ground or above it. Get a little bit of height. There it is. Nice. Look at that. Cool. Cool. Uh, I hate these little ones so much. Do not have any food. We got to be careful. So this is a smaller one. If we get if we get um calculation out of this I'm just gonna be in heaven. Oh my god! Really? We got all four. Oh my god. Look at that. Silicon calculation engineering logic. What what the heck is going on here? Wow, okay. So I believe we came in this way. Let's check the sun. Yep. We gotta go back this way. We're all done. Look at that. I can't, I cannot believe that. It only took three meteors to uh, get our presses. Wow. Nice. All right, guys, we're going to pause that here. We will pick up, and on the next one, we should be back at home. Um, I will adventure back. Hopefully, I don't die on the way. Hope you guys have been enjoying this. We got our presses finally. Uh, we will start jumping into AE2 and XNet and start getting our base set up. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, this is Gambler, guys. Peace out.